What's going on, folks? So uh, today, uh, Shannon Sharp finally did a video and explained what happened with his viral video. And he basically said what happened was he ended up going home, um, just throwing his phone down somewhere and ended up just getting it in with Michelle. I just find that hard to believe. Someone that seems very uh, methodical about how he handles his business, um, keeping his personal life extremely private, uh, and talks pretty much general. And you, you want to, you're basically saying that you never went live ever. You never went live ever. And all of a sudden you end up going live and not knowing it. And you didn't notice it until after you were doing what you were doing. And people were telling you, you know, what was going on. I think he, he pulled a, a, honestly, in my opinion, I think he pulled a Kim Kardashian. But in this case, I don't even think anything was actually happening behind the scenes. I think they were just making noises, um, you know, just getting getting the, the noise uh, background noise is going and it generated uh, a lot of uh, attention online I mean and then when he went live with the nightcap he ended up doing 300,000 in views so he wasn't hacked it was something that you know he ended up having to call his family call his friends and apologize but I think all this all this all of this was uh, in order to go viral in my other video I didn't think it was the case but after he made the video and still did his show and still uh, didn't really switch anything up and I don't think that was a sister that he was you know on camera with uh, it don't matter you know you do what you do many people were saying that they feel that you know he potentially put this out there because of the rumors that people were putting out there in the atmosphere that he has a certain lifestyle, and I think to me, uh, I don't believe that. I don't think he needed to do this in order to show that he's he's into women and that he's, uh, you know, he get it in, so to speak. But I just didn't think he would need to do this in order to get views because he was already getting a ton of views. But one thing I will say is he's getting a ton of views with these uh, guests. He's not doing it really on his own, getting the views. Now, getting the views with him and Chad Ochocinco, and I'm not saying he can't carry his own weight, but literally that was all up for him. Um, even though he did the show tonight with Chad Ochocinco, 300,000 views um, in maybe a couple of hours, probably even less than that. Uh, if I'm looking at it, if I pull it up right now, 59 minutes they got they're already at 323,000 views they'll be at a million and probably in 30 40 more minutes so great marketing move um, I mean think about this is that if quote-unquote uh, you know this was live and he didn't know it um, and he just ended up throwing his phone down so you were basically where you signed, where you on Instagram and you just threw it down and it just automatically went live. Like that's usually you gotta do more than that. You click the button, uh, well, you, you put in the title, uh, you, can, you just don't go live automatically. Like you actually have to, you know, if I go live right now, this is what I'm gonna show you. This is what you have to do. So in order to go live, I guess you can. So you would have to just click that button and and, and, and unless you hit the X button, it'll keep going. So I'm just trying to see how this makes sense. So he literally, so he says he never goes live. And if he never goes live, why would it automatically go to the live one? Seems to me it will automatically go to what you always do. So you always post in women to just go to post. If you're always doing reels, would it always go to reels? 
So, so he dropped, so he had the phone, he dropped it wherever, and it went automatically to live. So let me just see this. So he dropped his phone, and it automatically hit that plus sign, right? And then it automatically hit the live button, or already on the live button, and then it hit the button of going live where you see that big old circle with those uh looks like quotation marks and then it went live i don't believe it folks he's pulling a kim kardashian man he's trying to take you know you know visibility to the next level i guess he might have cracked the code because women do this all the time and it's helped a lot of these women's careers especially if you look at uh, Kim Kardashian, she practically became a billionaire you know, years later after doing that tape. Paris Hilton, who was already came from money, she, her career ended up blowing up. So I guess that's what Shannon Sharp is, is, is doing. Because now, I mean, anytime somebody comes on the show or he goes anywhere, they're going to bring it up. And he's going to have to talk about it tomorrow on first take, which is going to generate more views as well. So very interesting. 